What's going on gamers? Today we're going over how to install FTB Ultimate Reloaded in your client and on your Apex panel. Before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell in order to stay updated on all of our Minecraft videos. Vanilla Minecraft can get kind of dull after a while, especially if you played it more than once. I mean, you can really only build so many buildings, and while the gameplay may seem infinite, it can also feel quite lackluster, and sometimes you just want more. Well, let me introduce to you FTB Ultimate Reloaded. This is a lighter version of an FTB mod pack, but still hosts a lot of different mods with many to explore and see. And today we're going to be going over just how to install it. But before we even get into it, first thing you need to know is that you can find any links related to this video in the description. Just head on down there and then you can see the blog related to this video as well as other links that will take you directly to the downloads that you may need. Well, let's get into it. To install it on your server, you'll first need to head to your Apex panel and click on the red stop button. Once the server has completely stopped, which may take a moment, you're going to scroll down to the jar file field selection, and in the drop down bar, you're going to select the search bar and type in FTB Ultimate, and one of the only options that should appear is FTB Reloaded. A pop up will appear once you click it, and you're going to select Change Version, then Create New World, and finally, Restart Now. Once the server's been reset, you'll be good to go and launch it onto your Apex server. Now let's cover the client side. The first thing you're gonna do is head to your browser and type in feed-the-beast.com. Once you fill that out, you're going to go ahead and hit enter. You'll be greeted with this page, and here you can check out on the homepage everything about Feed the Beast and the description right there, but what you wanna do is click on the FTB app button, and you'll be greeted with this page. From here, you can select your operating system and download the FTB app. Once you run the installer, you'll be greeted with this page, and from here you're going to want to click the search icon, which is browse. Once that's loaded up, in the top you'll be able to see a search bar where you can go ahead and select that, and what you're going to type in is FTB Ultimate. And the search results should yield something along these lines, and you're going to of course select FTB Ultimate Reloaded. Once that new page loads up, you'll be able to see a description of the mod pack as well as you'll be able to see the mod list if you want to look at it. And from here, you'll just click the green install button located at the top left. You'll be greeted with this pop up and you can select whatever version of FTB Reloaded you want. But of course, I will be staying with the latest version and then you all just hit install. The install process will begin and then you'll just have to wait for a little bit. But once it's done, you'll see in the bottom left, it says view instance and you can select that green button. Then you can see in the My Mod Packs tab the instance of whatever mod pack you've downloaded, in this case FTB Ultimate, and all you gotta do is click and highlight it to play it. This mod pack is so massive that I'm just going to briefly cover many of the mods. First is Bibliocraft. This is more of a decorative type mod, but it does help with some storage related things. As you can see, there's unique bookshelves, a sword pedestal, and it's really fun and easy to access early game in this mod pack. You can also get these frame chests, which are super cool. Next, let's talk about the forestry mod. Now, I wasn't able to find many of the trees around my area, so I just spawned in a few different types to show you just how massive these varieties of wood can come. Next, let's look at iron chests. This, of course, is one of my favorites, as I've covered it before, and you can see there's a number of different chests that are allowed. And the dirt chest, of course, is probably the memeiest of all. But the obsidian chest is absolutely massive and blast proof. And you can just see many different types of chests here. Moving on to the next mod, let's talk about chisel. Chisel is really, really unique and bringing multiple different types of skinned blocks. Not only can you get multiple types, but each type has unique skins. Next, let's talk about build craft. We're definitely getting into the more difficult territory in terms of mod pack here, but if you can figure it out, you definitely will be able to crack the code on mining without having to do it by hand. Next, let's talk about Railcraft. Railcraft is super fun and super helpful 
As you can see, there's many different types of rails, and this is just scratching the surface, as well as different types of blocks. Next, let's talk about Torchmaster. Torchmaster is personally one of my favorites, and it's very helpful. So let me just set it to nighttime real quick, just to show you how useful this mod is. Though this mod only has a few blocks, they're very helpful. And what it basically does is light up an area way better than any regular torch would. As you can see, a mega torch lights up an area really, really spectacularly, and dread lamps actually prevent any mobs, including non-hostile ones, from spawning in the area. Of course, my personal favorite is the Feral Flare Lantern, and what it does is slowly creeps out the light in a larger distance. So, within a certain radius, the lamp will light up the area completely. And of course, the more you put down, the more the radius expands. So, you can really cover a large radius with just a small amount of lanterns. Moving on to the Chisel and Bits mod, this is similar to the Chisel mod, but this one allows you to uniquely alter blocks by using one pixel little chisels. As you can see, I'm putting a hole straight through this block, but it's still got its integrity as I can't walk right through it. But I can see right through it, no problem. Pretty interesting. And, of course, you can chisel pretty much anything. So, have some fun with this. Let's move on to the next mod from here, which is the Twilight Forest. Now, this one is also one of my favorites, as I've also covered this. Now, this mod needs no introduction, I'm sure, but once you've spawned in the portal, you can hop right in into the Twilight Forest, and you'll be greeted with basically a whole new world. And there's a lot to explore, bosses to defeat, and more. Upon initial entrance, of course, you'll want to just check out the area because it is really just so unique and gorgeous. Moving on, let's talk about Thomcraft. This one is definitely one that will come later down the line, but if you can manage to crack it, you'll learn many spells and more. It's basically kind of like a magic mod. From here, let's talk about more redstone-based things, Project Red. This one is pretty cool as it adds a couple of new ores, many different ways to use redstone, and actually, you get new tools from this new ore. As you can see, there's three different types, ruby, sapphire, and peridot, or period, as the kids would say. Anyway, moving on, let's talk about CC Tweak. This is really just a computer in-game, and trust me, there's more than just this one block, but honestly, I would need a lot more time to check it out. So let us know if you maybe want to see a tutorial on this CC Tweaked mod. Now let's cover some common issues. The first and main one is the server may get stuck loading this mod pack. If that's the case, just head to your server console and type in slash FML confirm in the panel. This will run a few things on our end, and once that's done, your server will be started no problem. As you can see, there's a lot to explore with just over 150 pages to explore in NEI. Now, of course, that doesn't even cover how to use half of these blocks, but, you know, sometimes maybe you'll just stick in creative and find some colorful ones and just want to party. I know that that's what I like to do. And, well, that'll just about do it for this one, gamers. As always, I hope that you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.